Now we are working more major breaking news. Another medical mistake at Rhode Island Hospital. We've confirmed that a pair of forceps were left inside a patient. The same day, the hospital announced its largest fine yet from the Department of Health for leaving a drill bit inside another patient's head. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Naked Nuosu is live in the capital city. Well, Karen, as you'll remember, Rhode Island Hospital was fined in 2007 and 2009. The Department of Health announced yet another fine today in addition to launching yet another investigation. Well, I think it's very frustrating. A joint investigation by the Department of Health and Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services found Rhode Island Hospital staff doesn't always follow post-op surgical procedures. The report also found complaints by staff about an anesthesiologist who did not wear a surgical mask in the operating room went unaddressed. The staff are reporting problems, which is really good. Uh, that's a good sign. Because without reporting it, you can't figure out how to fix it. But they need to figure out how to fix it. Rhode Island Hospital was fined $300,000 for not following procedure, which the Department of Health says led to two incidents last summer. One where a piece of a drill bit was left inside a patient's skull and another one in July where a pair of forceps was left inside a patient's abdomen. No one likes when harm reaches the patient. It's demoralizing. It's frustrating. This really is hopefully uh, a wake-up call to the board and the leadership and the medical staff to figure out how to uh, get the staff and everyone to comply with their um, policies. Now, the Department of Health also tells us that the Center for Medicare Services is currently investigating Rhode Island Hospital and could possibly consider whether or not the hospital will continue to receive Medicare funding. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Neka Nuosu, Eyewitness News.